Hello, Brawl Hall of Fans, and welcome to the mini tournament wrap up. I'm your host, Compton EMT. This wrap up contains the results of the 2015 January 3rd 1v1 tournament that was aired both on Hitbox and Twitch under my channels. As a disclaimer, we are not part of the Brawl Hall of staff, and our thoughts, opinions, and actions do not represent Blue Mammoth games and do not reflect any decisions that Blue Mammoth will make with the game Brawl Hall. Of. Let's get started. This tournament started out with signups and was originally intended to be an 8-man tournament. We ended up having 26 signups, 14 of which that showed up for the check-in, but we had our players and the tournament was ready to start. As always, remember to use the annotations which link to the actual footage of the gameplay from this tournament, if it's available. Consider it a pseudo table of contents, if you will. The tournament started as designed with some free-for-all play. This gives a change of pace in both playstyle and ability. With 14 players, we had to hold two games of four and two games of three. We then put all of the ones and twos together and separated the other six players into two more games of three. With the completion of those games, we had our bracket set and we were on our way to the first matchups. Our first round consisted of six total games as the top two seeds had a bye due to there only being 14 players. To save time, all of these games were played concurrently and were one and done three stock. In the first game, we had number nine Misfit down number eight Weird Jacob with two lives remaining. We then saw number three Scroyan defeat number 13 Sadist in a shutout. This is the second time Scroyan has defeated an opponent in a shutout in the first round of a tournament. After that, we had number 5 Kreutzberg defeat number 12 AG McLeod with two lives to spare. On the right side of the bracket, number 10 Picklesaur dropped number 7 Inlay with two lives remaining. Number 4 Jaunt down number 14 Mr. Tom with two lives remaining. Lastly, number 11 Scarbot went missing and number 6 Draven moved on without even having fought the match that he was scheduled to play. Our quarterfinals were also one and done with three stock, but they were the first rounds we actually showed on stream. In the first game, we saw a tough fight between two top players, number one Raven and number nine Misfit. In the end, Raven dropped Misfit on the last life, with both players actually having a red bar of health. The second game saw number three Scroyan and number five Kreutzberg square off. The interesting part about that is it started off with both players losing their first stock to a mine at the exact same time. However, Scroyan did not give up a single stock after that and actually won the game with two stocks remaining. The third game was number 10 Pickles versus number two Z Holy Pale. Z Holy Pale almost made a comeback after being down 3 to 1 on stock, but Picklesore managed to get the final kill to send him onto the semis. Lastly, we had number 4 Jaunt versus number 6 Draven. For the sake of time, these players decided to play this game off stream on their own accord, so we apologize, but we don't have any footage of this fight. However, Draven did win this game on the last life to punch his ticket into the semis. Quarters were done, and we had our final four. The next round would be the best of three. With our semifinals set, we again see three stock games, but this time it's a best of three affair. In the first match, we saw a repeat of last tournament's semifinal matchup, having number one Raven do battle with number three Scroyan. This was a very close matchup as Raven took the first game on the last life, and likewise, Scroyan won the second game on the last life as well. In the end, though, it was Raven who would be the victor as he won the third game with two lives remaining. On our second semifinal match, we saw Picklesore pitted against Draven. This matchup was all over the place. Draven handily defeated Picklesore by two lives in the first game. That was all, though, that Picklesore would give him, as the next two games were swift, stout defeats by two lives apiece that took a total of less than six minutes of game time to complete. The finals were set. Number 10 Picklesore versus reigning champ number 1 Raven. With the amount of time the tournament had already taken, we once again went with a 3 stock best of 3 affair. In the finals, number 10 Picklesore was getting a lot of admiration and support from the audience, despite number 1 Raven being favored in the poll by a 3 quarters majority. The poll proved to be right though, as Picklesore was tossed around the map in the first game, losing only having taken down Raven one time. 
The second game was much of the same with Raven dropping Picklesore once again with two lives remaining. Raven notched his belt with another win, second in a row, and stayed the only champion so far in the mini tournament series. Of note, in our third place game, which was played off stream, number three Scroyan defeated number six Draven two consecutive games by two lives in each. So what have we learned this mini tournament? The community is still ripe for growth. Not only did we have a lot more people playing in this tournament, as well as signups, but we also saw 250% of the viewership that we had from the last tournament. Having what I term a controller is one of the most important jobs in running a successful tournament. The beginning of the tournament took a long time to get set up as I ended up having to do most of the back end work myself. We'll make sure to have someone working the back end from here on out though. Titans saw its first competitive play this time around, as the new map. It seemed to work just fine even though we do think it favors the heavy weapons a little bit more. It just means that you not only have to play your competitor, you have to play the map choices as well. We saw several new faces emerge this tournament. While Raven did claim his second consecutive title, we did see some good and promising play come out of other players, such as Draven, Scroyan, Misfit, Picklesore, and many others. With more of a top tier emerging, we might see a new top dog pretty soon. Lastly, we have to give more praise to Raven. He didn't let anyone usurp him even though he did have some close calls. Raven, I guess you're still the boss. Well, this has been Compton EMT bringing you the Brawlhalla mini tournament wrap up. Be sure to follow us on all of the various formats like Hitbox, Twitch, and Twitter, as well as subscribe on YouTube. This will keep you up to date on any future tournaments or events that are going on in the community. We hope you join us next time, but for now, happy brawling, and we hope to see you again soon. So we're at an, at an all white two to one right now. Can Pickles make this comeback? We will see a couple of up, up new, or a couple of neutral lights in the air coming out of Raven Pickles with that Valkyrie. The the weapon actually falls off the stage as he blew that Valkyrie while he wasn't over any platform. Pickles taking a lot of damage. This does not bode well for his chance for a comeback. And there it is with the down kick. Raven back to back champion on Brawlhalla mini tournaments. So.